In this season six finale of Hired to Hunt, Brad takes a group on a duck, snow, and speck combo and has the hunters absolutely smothered in mallards. Although there are big flocks of snows to be chased during this tour, they sure were jumpy. I managed to get under a flock of snow geese and with a few wind-related adjustments to the rig, we had the geese dancing on our toes. What an epic way to end the season. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. All right, so I've got a duck hunt, and then I also have two snow goose options of uh, two pods very close together. So it's interesting if they might, if they come together, be one really big one. More tomorrow afternoon deal because there's no ducks. Uh, Mel and Brad both have snows with some darks and uh, a bunch of ducks on them. So of course, best foot forward, we're going to go with the duck and goose options over just the goose only or the duck only options. We've got some good coverage for this next group. You know, we're out spotting now, just depending on how it all shakes down, and you know, the next two hours will dictate what we do tomorrow morning. And that's all I know. Uh, just pulling up on our target for the morning. A um, bunch of snow geese with uh, a couple thousand darts. Some of those will be specs, some of those lesser cans and a bunch of ducks so just i looked at it quick this morning i didn't spend a lot of time here um, got the permission jeff got the permission for me and uh, now i've just come back to look at it it's 5 30 it's late season so i mean it's going to happen quick tonight it's warm out so this will all go down probably within an hour they'll go in they'll eat and they'll be done so probably won't stray too far from this hunt today we're just going to Try to get a good idea of where they are sitting in the field for the morning and just to get an exact, just get numbers. Just looking to see if there's any uh, any peas left in this field. I mean, this is, uh, I got permission on this one this morning and uh, the geese were in here. It looked, when you first have a look, it looks picked over, but then you get in and you just, you know, they grab the easy stuff first and then you just go and roll over some of the chaff and it's just loaded with peas still. So these birds, uh, they'll be back. Uh, just a matter of waiting now. This could be, could be the afternoon option. There's three quarters of peas that wrap around. A bunch have bales in it, but they'll land in this stuff and move into the bales. And even if they're in the bales, we'll just hunt outside of the bales, you know? But they're in here. Hopefully they go back in here tomorrow afternoon. This could be a good one, real good. Looking real good. It got good in a hurry. Uh, 15 minutes ago, there was nothing. Now she's loaded up. There's lots of ducks, more ducks than I thought, which is always good. Snow, specks, lessers. I thought there was more snows here, but it's still early, so we'll see. But uh, specks were definitely here, what we thought was here, and uh, lesser cans are in here, and more ducks than I thought, so it's coming together real nice. Would like to see about another 10,000 snows show up just for, you know, volume and snow geese, but at this point I would take this anyways, it's good. They're still pouring in though, it's early. This hunt's an absolute monster. They all ended up in this field here tonight. Like, I mean all of them, it's crazy. And uh, anyways, I ended up getting, getting permission on it, which is pretty cool. Now, of course it has to stick, and the birds are pretty jumpy, so I don't even know if it'll stick tomorrow. I don't know if there's enough feed to sustain this many birds for another full, full morning feeding, and we'll see what happens. If, if we can get them to sit and feed there till 11 o'clock tomorrow, it'll be a good hunt tomorrow afternoon. Anyways, 
Mel had a small, small duck and goose combo he was looking at. Uh, when his hunt went sideways, he raced over there to have a look, text the landowner, got permission on it. And of course, all the snows were boiling into that one, which all came from the southern hunt he had. So he experienced a lot of what I did tonight. So we're going with Jeff on ducks and Brad's on a, on a combo with snows, some darks and some ducks. And you know, best foot forward, just, just hunt those two most consistent hunts all the time to ensure that those things come back. And there never is a guarantee in that anyways, they don't have to come back. But uh, even if half of these come back tomorrow morning, it'd be a good hunt. Anyways, they may not, so we'll see what happens. That's all I know. So we're out here, this guy's first morning. It's, uh, it's a good hunt, lots of ducks, lots of snows, and uh, even quite a few specks for what's left in the country. Um, clear skies, not a lot of wind though, so it might come a little bit of bunched up, but I suspect we should do good on our ducks. Uh, plan is to shoot a bunch of darks, and then we'll see how the whites do. We got uh, two racks out, so probably 1,100 decoys probably 300 darks of the 1100 so I don't know we're big we got a good spread sitting in the white suits this morning oh the birds are up so time to go <laughs> go boys go 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 <laughs> All right, couple flights coming, guys. Couple bigger flights. Go, go, go! Speck out front, the snow out front. Get ready. Go, boys. Ready, wait. Go, 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 go. Go, boys. Go, boys. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, boys. That worked nice. Go, go, go. Ready? Go, 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 go! Go, boys! Go boys! Go, 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 go! Okay, I just need ducks. Right. Is there two more ducks over there? Okay, what do you got there for ducks in your hands? Backs and snows, boys, and then cans. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Let's just get our geese. 
No, we're done ducks. Let's get some specks and snows. Just the specks, guys. You gotta be careful. Ready? Go on the specks on that end. I like it, I like it. Okay, single speck, single speck. Take that snow goose, take that goose, that goose. Go, 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 go. There we go. Cleaning house this morning, boys. Okay, boys, we're clean right now. Let's jump off and grab specks. Five specks between each, behind each blind. Don't worry about snow geese. Everything has been absolutely wonderful. There's more birds, more shooting. Absolute wonderful to be out here. Great guys, everything's wonderful. Go, go, go! Go, boys. So it was fast and furious this morning. Our geese kind of come all out at once. I mean, especially our snows. Um, not much wind and clear, so it was kind of expected. Uh, but when they came, they came in droves. We, uh, we got our 40 ducks and probably 12 of our 15 dark geese in a matter of 40 minutes. And uh, probably about, I don't know, 20 of our snows too. I think we got about 25 or 30 snows. Ah, oh, no, I'm happy. I'm happy any day you can shoot that many birds. Um, I know tomorrow we got weather coming in and we're close to the roost here. We probably would have done a little better doing this hunt tomorrow, but you know, you go best foot forward. So 70, over 70 birds this morning. There's not, nothing wrong with that. So these guys have a good one tonight. They'll finish strong. That's good. Lots of peas here still. So this is good, lots of peas in here. You know, the way the birds are in here, they're a little bit, well, this was all full yesterday, but there's still a real heavy band here. And they, they actually went across through the fence and into that wheat stubble. So I think my, there must've been some hail damage or something in here, because there's just lots of peas here, more than there is in certain areas. Still lots on the ground here, so these birds should come back. This was the big show last night. Earlier this morning, a bunch got in here some are just across the fence. Like there's a few trees in the way, but literally meters from the fence. A bunch were in the next field over, so it would be almost a half a mile, but they're trading back and forth. The wind's supposed to be switching west and then slightly out of the northwest. So I'm gonna play a, a west wind with a little bit of a bump on my, one, on my one long leg. And I'm gonna run the long leg on the north side because the majority of these birds are coming from the south. You wanna make sure you give them lots of room to land and. Make sure you're out in the middle where, where they want to be, you know, and if it goes well, we get them. If it doesn't, we're going to watch 70,000 birds laugh at us today. Ah. <laughs> See this? Yeah. That's not how we're doing. Okay. okay. It's going to be more like this. Okay. So what I want to do is right now the wind's out of the west, but it's, it's going to kick a little bit more out of the northwest. Not much. Okay. We're going to be right there, the very top of the spread. As the birds approach, they approach the main body. This leg will be on this side, and this nipple will be on this side. I'm gonna lay out the chairs first, okay? And I'm just gonna angle them a little bit more than west, a little bit favoring the northwest approach, okay? And then you guys can start stabbing around the decoys like you did this morning, and just make them, make them disappear. And then I'll start, while you're doing that, I'll run the perimeter. I'll run the legs and all stuff, and then, we, then we'll all just go together. Okay, cool. Cool? It was unbelievable. Best 
duck hunt I've ever been on. We limited very easily. The ducks were literally landing on our heads. We videoed uh, after we limited out and uh, mostly mallards, but unbelievable. Couldn't ask for more. Today's setup is absolutely fantastic. He, Claudio knows what he's talking about. We're from Louisiana and uh, and came to appreciate the way he sets up and what he's doing. And so the wind's blowing this way. He's got us kind of set up to where geese are going to come in this hole here. So we're just wrapping up and hopefully we'll shoot some soon. All right, so we're basically ready. We look good. I'm gonna get the trucks out of here because I don't know when the birds are gonna show up. And then I'm gonna have a look and clean this, some of this stuff up a little bit. <laughs> it just feels a little funny. Ah, I'm neurotic that way. Anyways, yeah, wind's good right now. Should be good. Hopefully they fly any minute. I don't know where my phone is. Anyone have a watch? Last night they didn't fly till 545 with this wind and this cloud cover. They should go a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna get the truck out of here. Should be good. Where we put up lots of decoys. I'm just. I hope we get a bunch of flights. Here they come. Kill them all, guys. Kill them all. Load quick. Load quick. Load quick. Get down. They'll come around again. Ready, guys? Rip those. Rip those. Rip those. Nice shot. That's two. This time, guys, get ready. Kill those, kill those, kill those. Right there, right there. He got them all and the extra one. Nice shoot, boys. Okay, go, go, go. Low on the deck, guys. Low on the right. Don't move, don't move. Hold tight. I see him, I see him. Roll him, roll him, roll him, roll him, roll him. Right. Ah, I like it. Go, go, go. Go, 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 right there, right there, guys. Ready, guys? Rip those, rip those, rip those. Shoot them, guys, shoot them. Kill them all, guys. Kill them all. Tight. Shoot him, boy. Shoot him. All right, wind switch. That wind is kicking out of the northwest. Way out of the northwest. Yeah, well, we'll see. They're all going to do the same thing, though. <laughs> Shoot him, guys. Shoot him. Shoot him. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Nice shot. Watch out. Heads up. Heads up. If we make an adjustment, it'll be way better. I'll tell you. Stand up. Everybody, let's just take three minutes and do it, OK? All right, so the wind shifted heavily, heavily out of the northwest with this little storm front. So they're coming over my short leg and some of the birds are kicking up over. We got rid of the short leg, and we're, this is gonna be the center mass. We should be able to funnel them in here. I just gotta clean out the hole. We'll get this done real quick. Load up, guys, load up. Load up, that adjustment's gonna work. Go correct, go correct. Roll them, roll them, roll them. Quick, load quick. 
Get your guns loaded. Real quick, watch these singles. This one's coming around. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Drill them, drill them. Nice, load quick. Okay, kill those now. Nice, load quick, load quick, load quick. Try him, try him, try him. They're ready. Let's see if we can time them together. Now, now, drill them. One more, guys. Oh. All right, so you know that worked. Uh, anytime you go into a big snow goose like like this, you know these mobs can move real quick. And I had it had them spotted on uh, Sunday, and of course. Last evening, Sunday night, they didn't go into the field. They're a mile away. They came into this one. They fed here this morning. Some of them were broken up into different pods. And I thought, well, this is the most common denominator to have. And you know what? They came back. Not all of them, but enough. Uh, I made one fairly significant adjustment. I got rid of my whole short leg, which turned us into a side shoot. Anyways, it worked. It was shot. I don't know. We must have shot another 20 or 30 since then. So we're going to rack them up. We got dead birds in the hole. We got dead birds on the outside. And, and uh, Time to rack them up. I'll let you know how many in a bit. Uh, all right. All right, so now, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's 90 with four hunters, so that just changes everything a little bit. That makes it just that much better. Right, guys? Bam. Right on, okay. I couldn't ask for a better way to end season six of Hired to Hunt. It just, you know, Anytime you can go out and shoot uh, 89 snows and a speck on an afternoon, I mean, it was pretty good, pretty pretty epic. I mean, and with the wind switch, and you know, things were going for us at the beginning, and then they started shifting against us, and I just, I'm happy, real happy. The guys are happy, they shot real well, given the conditions, And but I'll tell you what, the heavy steel did its thing, and the Benelli's got the stuff on target, and it, it worked really well. I'm happy, they're happy. Life's good and it's time to go for supper. <laughs>